right now today you are dealing with a very controversial topic deliverance you know when I was praying and the Lord spoke to me he said I want to deliver my people now you know one would have a serious question and the question could be why deliverance you know I want you to check something I want you to go to the book of Exodus chapter 1 Deliverance is not or does not happen to you or to someone else because that person needs deliverance. Deliverance happens because God wants you to be delivered. So from that word go, from the beginning of the word already, tells you that so many people have different conception, mentality, understanding of the word deliverance. And sometimes it is very important to, to really understand what we're talking about as far as the word deliverance is concerned. I know what I'm talking about and I want you to hear me very well. You here? Yes. Are you here? Understand the spirit realm and what happens in the spirit. Do you know what hinders deliverance? Most of the times is forgetting. The people of Israel, after crossing the Red Sea, God delivered them from Pharaoh. All firstborns just died. You see, when, when they were refusing to let the people of Israel go. You know the story? I um, don't say, ah, because I'll say, what is the story? <laughs> when they were refusing, when the people, listen, listen, can you imagine you were in Egypt for them to be delivered, God had to kill people. All firstborn children of anyone from Egypt, all their children who was the firstborn, died at night, including Pharaoh's firstborn son. That's the day Pharaoh said, you know what? I'm letting you guys go. Are you understanding how, how God is serious on deliverance? That he can keep, if, if you are holding somebody, refusing to let them go. When God says they must go, God can even kill your children. It's a serious matter. Oh, you, you, I think let me try to go maybe this other direction. Maybe they're trying to get it. I am saying, if God says, let my people go. Now, the difference here is a very simple thing. The difference comes in not because somebody is delivered, but because one has been sent. Now, Moses was sent by God to let the people go. Do, do you understand? Moses was sent. The power of deliverance, it is in the mission which the one who is the deliverer. Do you understand? 
if God has sent him to deliver you, if there is something or someone blocking that, Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Now, my wife was teaching you earlier on, and she spoke a few things. I was listening. Normally, when she's teaching, I normally uh, I tell her to record what she was teaching and to send me, so that me too I can be blessed from what she was teaching. So she was. I listened to it. I actually remember the whole teaching more than you. You have forgotten what she was talking about. Now, I, I, I'm telling you. She was talking about, she was sharing with you, she was talking about why it is important you to understand that God can deliver you. What hinders deliverance? She spoke about one, people have no peace. Am I correct? I'm a prophet. Did she talk about that? Yes. No, how can you be? She even spoke about, the Bible says, be still. Yes. Yes. Did she speak about it? Yes. She did. So watch this. Now, so what happens? When we are dealing with the deliverance, and she also spoke about, it's not only demons. She spoke of that, right? Yeah. She said it's not only demons. Sometimes you have to be delivered from something. Yeah. Now, I want, I want to just share with you this as I'm moving on. You see, like, I want me to like, what should I pray for you? Hey, my father, my child is smoking too much. You think the problem is smoking? It is not that. The problem is not smoking. Trust you me. Why other children somewhere are not smoking? What entered your child? What entered your child? You want to tell the prophet, you were like, I want to I wanna tell the prophet my child smokes. And then you end up going home, no any change. Because you didn't realize what was happening in the spirit. What is happening around you, it is not physical. It is a spiritual issue. This is why God, in his own grace, connected you to a major prophet. Now, let me say this thing. If now you meet the prophet, oh, the prophet is here. You meet the prophet. What should I pray for you? Hey, my father, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um, um, hey, yo, my marriage. Okay, what's happening in your marriage? Hey, two months ago, he did this to me. Last month, he did this to me. You see, if the prophet is not sharp in discernment, you may lead a prophet to pray a wrong thing. You may even block the real issue because you are thinking with your human mind what your problem could be. Oh, you, do you understand? This is why, if you were, how many were watching when I was meeting international visitors one by one in my office? How many, watch, how many saw that program? Now, I want to see your hand up if you saw that program. If you saw that program, I would ask the person, what do you want? The person would talk, 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 and be like, are you done? Yes, I'm done. I'm like, actually, your, your, your real issue is this. Oh, my father, if, how could I forget about it? Let me say you see, all of them, none of them was accurate. They were talking wrong things. You see that? What should I pray for you? Uh, my mom to be healed. My brother to get a job. My sister to get married. And my papa also me a financial breakthrough. Me, I look in her eyes. You see, I look in her eyes. I see a dragon. I see a dragon. A red dragon. And I said, hey. I said, that's all. Yes, yes, my father, that's all. I see a dragon in the eyes. 
and I stand up, I go closer to her like this. The dragon walks out, out of her, moves out of her to the back to hide from me. You didn't hear me. And God tells me that dragon has attacked her liver. And I'm like, but what is happening with your liver? Ah, it's just sometimes. And she's talking very simple. Uh, and there's a dragon behind. And God is telling me that that dragon has been sent to remove that liver so for her to die. Ah, sometimes, you know. Yeah, yeah, but that's not my main problem. My main problem, Papa, I want my brother to get a job. I'm like, hey. I said, eh? Hey. I said, these people, that's why I got angry. I said, I don't want to meet them online. Let them come in my office. Because they, you don't know. It's like completely. Oh, my father, pray for us. I said, eh, hey, what's the issue? Papa, you know, uh, uh, this document, there's a delay. Yo, my father, there's a delay over this document. I said, huh? Yes, my father said, I look at her like this. I see her house in the spirit, upside down. In the spirit. I said, you, when you sleep, what happens? I just asked that question. What happens when you sleep? Uh, sometimes when I sleep, I see my house upside down. I'm like, oh, so you want me to pray for the document? Yeah, 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 yeah. What about this thing of upside down? Ah, yeah, you can also pray for it. Me, at first, I used to wonder why Moses was getting angry in the desert. <laughs> right now, I'm so angry. No, I'm telling you. I even go to God. I said, God, these people, why? I said, God, why? Why these people are like this? Huh? Three nights, I didn't sleep. Three nights, I didn't sleep. I'm telling you. Three nights. The other night, the whole night I was praying. Even, even tonight, I, I didn't sleep the whole night. I was in prayer. <laughs> you see, and <laughs> and you see, I was there like this, meeting them. I, I met them the whole day, one by one, and again the whole night. Come, what should I pray for you? And I've come here. Uh, ash, I've forgotten. <laughs> Demons are real, I'm telling you. Demons. Demons. Someone has come all the way from Canada. They want to see Major Jawan in Malawi. And I've forgotten why they are here. Like, <laughs> Papa, yo. I just forgot everything. <laughs> okay, what should I pray for you? You see, this is why I want this deli the deliverance. Let me, let me say this thing to you. Some of you in South Africa used to tell you, make use of your time properly. <laughs> I used to tell you, time will come you will look for a prophet, you will never find him. <laughs> watch this, watch this. I want to just say this to you. People like forgetting. And this blocks deliverance. This is one of the things that blocks deliverance. Do you know the people of Israel? God kills firstborns to deliver them. They are delivered. Just arriving at the Red Sea. They're like, Moses, you brought us here to die. They started murmuring. They started murmuring. Moses said, okay. Pave the way. The sea made the way. They walked. After walking, Moses, Moses, major one, major one, Moses. Major one, testimony, testimony, testimony. They just walked a little bit. There's no water. Moses, you brought us here to die. 
Do you know most of you here, there was an issue before. God delivered you from it. Because you are facing another problem now, you have already forgotten that there was something that God helped you. There was a day, you didn't even know where to get the money, you didn't know what to do. God of Major One helped you. You've already, now you're like, oh my God, it's too much. What I'm passing through is too much. They were murmuring like that. It blocks deliverance. Where you are, I want you to understand something. To, today, God told me that I want to set them free completely. He wants to break your chains. Whatsoever chain that is there, it must break. Somebody say, break! <laughs> you, know, you know what? I want you to see and experience the power of deliverance. I want to speak to you on a subject matter, Jehovah Mephati. Somebody say Jehovah Mephati. Now it's M E P H A L O T I. Mephati. Jehovah Mephati. And we're going to go in the scriptures. We're going to read the scripture from Psalms 18, verse 2. And 2 Samuel 22, verse 2. So let's start with the, the scripture from Psalms 18, 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my what? No, I want you to read properly. One, two, three, go read. My rock one, two, fortress, three, deliverer, four, my God, five. Then my bakra, number what? Number one. Okay, you, you, you are not counting. You see, I wanted to find out if you're following. Let's do it again. The Lord is my rock. You do the, do the counting. I'll be doing the reading. The Lord is my rock. My fortress, Two. my deliverer, Three. my God, Four. my strength, Five. my bakra, Six. my horn of salvation, Seven. my high tower. Eight. And number nine, my trust. So it's there, it's put in whom I trust. Now that's number nine. So we have nine. Things. Can you imagine my tower, my salvation, my God, my background, my rock, my salvation, my deliverer? Now, my deliverer is number three. Now, go again there. You find number three. What, what's on number three? And my deliverer. The word my deliverer is the word mefati. God, my deliverer. The reason why so many people until today are not yet delivered, it is because they have not understood Jehovah Mephati. They have not understood God as their deliverer. Wait a minute. I'm just talking to someone here who's hearing me, right? If you hear this statement, then I want to hear this. I want you to hear this. Jehovah Mephati, it is a word that means personal. My, they, there's a word, my. It is not other people. This is personal. This is, I'm not going to live here until I receive my. This is me, my deliverer. This deliverance is personal. And the word me fatty, 
means someone who rescues.